All right, so today we're going to be doing something cool. I know we always do cool stuff here, but this time is something that I have seen quite, quite a lot on a lot of cool awards websites and not only. And I was thinking that might be a little bit beyond my capabilities to figure out how to do in Elementor, but well, I did it. So let's get into it. All right, so let's add a container in here and I'm going to set this container to be full width as always and direction is going to be vertical and I am also going to give it a hundred percent a hundred um, pixel height this you don't have to do because I just want to separate from the top elements that we have on the page that's it nothing else all right inside here we are going to add a text element yes a text element i know this is revolutionary <laughs> but text elements have uh, the advantage that you can actually add text inside um, obviously you can add code inside so for example we can have an h1 and inside that h1 we can add a span so that's exactly what we are going to be doing in this case so this is the structure i will just copy paste everything this is the structure that we have and i'm sorry that is not very clear let me simply remove this i don't know why that happens let me add everything in one line so you can see what is what and what is start what starts where so uh, the second element is a little bit different because i will give you the option to add an image as well i mean i'm not going to give you the option there's an option where you can add an image as well inside this text hover effect so the first and the second text is going to be the same and this one will contain an image and let me just do this as a coder would and let me add where is it it's very difficult to find things this way all right so that is the span and this is the image as you can see oops as you can see this is how it looks so pretty much this is the structure of the second element so each heading has a, a class of text as you can see here and here and here and uh, we add right in here we add the text that we want to have on the page so for example not working is going to be the text that you see without hovering on the text so let's call it this is it okay and then once you hover we have the text of working showing as simple as that here we have the text of no image this will be by default shown and then on hover we see the, the text image as well as the actual image that we have in the span so this is the way that you will have to structure your text basically in order for these elements to show and if you are going to be adding an image inside here you have to have always the um, alternative text you could add some helpful text here to convey the image being displayed this is for screen readers and for people with disabilities so it's good to have this in place of course this is a, i try to make this be dynamic i tried using acf but unfortunately it doesn't work so it is what it is unfortunately there's nothing uh, i can do at this point maybe in the future i will add an update to this or if somebody has an idea how we can make this dynamic where for example the client could update this on the back end in acf which would be perfect uh, otherwise you could just implement this for the client and tell them how and what to do but this is up to you i'm just giving you some options all right so i hope that everything is clear enough and that you can even change the tags to be something else if you don't want an h3 obviously not an h1 because you should have only one h1 on the page you could uh, turn it into a paragraph 
up to you and you can also style it however you want so let's go in our container the container that contains our text editor and let's go to custom css and i will just drop in my css this is a lot <laughs> yeah it's working already because i have the html the html with the code in already but i'm gonna go in the code and i'm gonna explain everything or more or less what you have to do or what you should not do all right let's start with the styling so this is the color of the border that you see here already so this you can change let's see if we change it to let's say if we change it to simply white this is white okay you, i'm gonna leave it like this for the purposes of this demonstration all right so let's go a little bit up here well, i forgot to mention this this is the color of the text so depending on what color background you have on the page you would want this to be either lighter or darker but i also have a specific effect on it so don't mind that that is another thing that is coming soon so as you can see our text has uh, this effect that kind of reveals itself on scroll and there's uh, and there's a video on this channel where i have implemented that so this basically is an extension of that video i forgot to mention at the beginning so sorry all right i'm going to add another container here at the bottom just uh, to have some more room to scroll for this effect uh whoops yeah vh all right, so should be plenty of space for us to see the effect in all its glory. So as you can see, as we come down, let's go and scroll and scroll and scroll and the effect kind of reveals itself. So I would say go a little bit lighter on the text or darker on the text. So let's go in the code again. And I could go a little bit more 0 0.50 0 0.90 let's make it one let's make it 20 or you can just play around with it and see whatever fits your style okay i changed the color of the background because i want you to see the full effect of the scroll and let's have a look and then when we hover we have this working for us so if you want to see how this effect is achieved uh, i think it's here or here one of this i think it's here I'm gonna link the video of how to make this definitely you have to play around with these values so this here and this here need to be changed in order to work on different backgrounds lighter darker darker I think this would be fine but lighter you still need to uh, adjust this if you don't want this effect you can simply remove the gsap code that we have here and that will not happen and that's it so let's go back to our code and you can also obviously uh, remove this part of the code from here so what you can change here it, this is the color of the background the background of the hover effect as you can see we have this uh, bright neon color so let's change the value here let's make it full white and this is how it looks in white <laughs> obviously we can change it to okay let's say red and it's red so this is where you change that value of the color of the background you change it here and this is the color of the text so if I change it to let's say black actually it is already black let's change it to white and it's white so this is where you control it and obviously if you have other things that you want to add to this text you can add it here for example the font size font size or font family or we could say font family here and we could say 
let's say of let's say Sora and this is Sora okay you could say also sans serif and it's fine and as you can see it's different than the one that we had before let me just comment this out and as you can see it's different so this is where you would change that as well as on the top so let's copy and paste it here comment this out and it changed as you can see it changed so i like it actually i will leave it on both to be sora and honestly that is about that's about it now if you want to change the the image as you can see on this um let me just close this on this second text we have an image that shows so you can change the border radius from here you can add styling to the image from here so let's say 50 pixels uh, this is where you would adjust it and let's say if you want to give it a border you say one pixel red solid red and as you can see it has a border let's say 10 so you can see it better <laughs> very ugly but it's there um so i will leave this on and comment them out in the notion file so you can have them there for inspiration and yes this can work fine on mobile as well you could try it out as you can see it works to some extent i have not at all optimized this for mobile but it still works so imagine if you optimize it it's gonna be pretty cool of course you might have to add a little bit more code but to be honest if you want to achieve something of this scale and something cool you need to add code unfortunately so i hope this is useful and you will find the code in the description below let me know if you have issues and that's it if you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time.